Three quarters of the CG effects were done by Industrial Light and Magic. The other quarter was done by Digital Domain, a company Michael Bay bought shortly before signing up to the Transformers movie. As seen in the bonus material for the movie DVD, at least some of the ILM designers are actually Transformers fans. One of them has his entire office decorated in more Transformers toys than a lot of regular fans might own. Physical props and set pieces were built for several of the Transformers robot modes. Full body props for Bumblebee, the 2009 Camaro body, and Frenzy were used for scenes that involved direct interaction with the human cast. The Bumblebee prop, with detached legs, was also used for the scene where he was strapped to a tow truck. A set featuring the frozen lower half of Megatron's body was also built. The rest is assorted bits and pieces, such as a part of Optimus Prime's leg, including a wheel, and an unpainted, entirely blue version of his head plus a small part of the upper chest, and various semi-random chunks meant to represent the remains of the destroyed Decepticons dumped into the ocean. Some of the parts meant to represent pieces of blackout even feature markings found on a real-life MH-53 PAVE low helicopter.